Tropical Storm Emily came together quick with only an eight hour gap between formation to landfall. The storm has been downgraded to a depression tonight, but heavy rainfall and lightning led to a state of emergency for central and southern Florida. Thousands were left without power and a Fort Myers Beach Resort left without a roof. Florida residents will still deal with the rain overnight. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a minimal tropical storm had winds of about 45 miles per hour. We'll show you some of the data from the Hurricane Center in just a second. In the meantime, anything but stormy in downtown Providence. Clear, dry, a comfortable, gorgeous midsummer night. Temperatures in the upper 60s. It's not overly warm or extremely humid. A light south breeze at 7, relative humidity at 87%. So tracking a warmer weather for this week. Uh, I mean, nothing excessive, you know, mid 80s. Uh, humidity up a little bit. Not much in the way of at least widespread rain. I don't see any particular day this week that's a washout. But each afternoon, you wouldn't rule out a few isolated little pop-up showers that wouldn't last very long. But the general theme here is the better portion of the uh, day next several days on the dry side. But again, each afternoon, you know, a random shower can't be ruled out. And of course, what's left of Tropical Storm Emily over Florida. We'll get a closer look. Satellite and radar composite uh, locally, the skies are clear. Had some thunderstorms, uh, northern New England. You can see our lightning tracker turned on. They have been diminishing. In the meantime, here is Florida, Gulf of Mexico, of the Bahamas, and remnants of of once tropical storm Emily, what will happen is the circulation will move back out over water and it may re-intensify into a minimal tropical storm once again. Uh, latest from the Hurricane Center had winds of 35, gusts of 45, pretty much just uh, to the east of Orlando as it re-emerges back over the water near Cape Canaveral, moving back out over warmer water. It may pick up a little bit of development, but as far as a major storm, not anticipated, minimal tropical storm, and by Thursday, the actual pass is well south of New England. I mean, obviously, a storm in this general area we'll watch closely, but the track should bend it uh, away from the U.S. mainland with time. Future cast this evening and overnight. Just watch the time bar right up in here. Generally clear skies, temperatures dropping through the lower 60s. So tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., Sunshine around 64, setting up for a warmer day. We topped out at 81 this afternoon. We're thinking easily mid 80s by tomorrow afternoon with mainly sunny skies and higher humidity. Again, outside chance of an isolated pop up shower, but most of the afternoon it's just warm and dry. By 9 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're at 75 degrees and clear. Tomorrow morning, sunshine. Temperatures initially in the 60s at sunrise and rising through the 70s and a rapid warm up. It'll be well into the 80s tomorrow afternoon. Beaches will be more in the upper 70s. Uh, a bit of a sea breeze. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperature coming in at 85. As far as the rain coverage, Coverage, or actually not rain, shower coverage over the next four days. It's really little to none, but each afternoon, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll put this in the isolated category. But again, wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans and really a better part of your afternoons are rain free. Seven day future cash reflects that. Your temps that are well into the 80s through Friday. I think a slightly better chance of scattered showers and thunder with the approach of a cold front. But even Saturday as a whole doesn't look like a washout. 82. As that front comes through, it brings in dry, refreshing, and comfortable air. Low humidity on Sunday. Sunshine with a high temperature at around 80. And looking at uh, lower 80s for the uh, beginning of next week and next Monday. We're already talking next Monday. 82 with uh, some sunshine, but you know, real summery feel. I mean, we're warm, but not excessive, humid, and for the most part, a storm free outside of little pop up showers every now and then. In my book, that is like the best summer seven day future cast you can come up with. Let's enjoy. Near perfect. Mm -hmm. All right.